Well, summer has returned. <laughs> After two weeks of the cool and comfortable air, all of a sudden we are skyrocketing those temperatures back up to around 90 yesterday and we will easily hit 90 once again for today. And the reason for that, look at the morning lows. We were in the upper 60s to lower 70s, 73 for an official low in Milwaukee. That's three degrees shy of our normal high temperature, 68 Waukesha and 65 in Watertown. Fog wasn't quite as bad of an issue this morning, but the heat and humidity were, especially if we don't have AC. Uh, as expected, the northern half of the state seeing the rain shower activity and we'll see a little bit of cloud cover roll in here this afternoon for, from that and hopefully maybe even a few showers to help cool things down. But what we'll do is while we'll cool it down, it'll make it even more humid. Getting close to 90 degrees now in a couple of spots as of 1 o'clock this afternoon. 88 Milwaukee, almost 90 Racine and Kenosha, 87 Burlington, but a little cooler to the northwest Beaver Dam at 83. Uh, we are seeing 86 in Heartland, maybe a little sprinkle out towards North Prairie, 86 in Eagle and 89 degrees in Brookfield. The dew points are high and they will remain that way. We have this tropical air mass entrenched right over the upper Midwest. You see the drier air with the dew points 30s, 40s and 50s. That would typically be here probably within 24 hours, but the front has stalled. It can't move anywhere because of the high pressure that's bringing us this warm, humid weather. So we stay in our air mass. That's the heat and the humidity. But as that high pressure moves a little further to the east, we'll get a little bit of a southeasterly breeze, which will help cool the lakefront down just a bit. But steamy conditions through tomorrow and very humid conditions through the weekend and into Monday before the front finally gets here. For the rest of today, hazy sunshine, high around 90 degrees, southwest wind at 5 to 10, and just an isolated chance of a thunder shower popping up in the afternoon. You can see the heaviest rains to the north, some uh, scattered thunderstorms down to the south of us, and we'll just have these little popcorn pop-up showers and thunderstorms throughout the afternoon and into the evening as that tracks off to the north of us. Then for tomorrow, more sunshine, more heat, just a little bit cooler at the lakefront with this southeasterly wind, and we'll have to wait till Monday before we get that front in here to give us the best chance of rain. If you don't have AC, another tough night of sleeping with temperatures near 70 degrees, very muggy, patchy fog, and a light breeze, so not even a breeze to help kind of circulate through the house. It'll be a little bit cooler tomorrow with temperatures in the low to mid 80s, as the cloud cover will help keep us a little bit cooler, and so will that southeasterly wind. Heading up to Green Bay for the game, it'll be 84 with just a few sprinkles still possible for tailgating. During the game, temperatures drop from 82 at kickoff to 73 by the end of the game. So for today, highs near 90, hazy, hot, humid, an isolated chance of a pop-up shower. A little bit better chance this evening and overnight, but still most of us won't see a drop of rain. Otherwise, 70 and patchy fog. The seven-day forecast... Shows a little cooling trend, but still hot inland. Temperatures are near 90 west of Waukesha. It'll be 81 on Friday here, 82 Saturday, humid through the weekend, and then a good chance of showers and thunderstorms on Monday, and then finally cooling down next Tuesday. Could be in the 60s by next Wednesday.